The following operator's training video is a supplement to the owner's manual included with your machine. The Patiomatic PR12 is a fully automatic machine that can produce 1,200 patties per hour and is UL EPH classified, which is certified to NSF ANSI standards. This machine is interlocked to ensure operator safety. The PR12 is equipped with a 40 pound capacity feed tray. It also stacks patties while interleaving paper. Unplug the machine from its power supply. Remove the feed tray. Remove the back guard by disconnecting the key latch and loosening the two hold-down bolts with the tool provided. Remove the pressure plate by disconnecting the spring. Using the tool provided with the machine, remove the feeder washer. Remove the feeder from the hopper by rotating it until it clears the meat stop. Then, lift it from the machine. To remove the chamber lid, loosen the bolts and slide it off the hopper. Remove the four hopper hold down bolts. Lift the hopper from the machine. Lift the transition plate from the machine. Disconnect the mold plate from the connecting arm. If needed, Unscrew the knob to disconnect the mold plate. Using the tool provided, remove the knockout cup assembly. The parts that were removed from the machine should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized. Wipe all surfaces of the machine, especially where product can accumulate. The machine itself should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized by hand. Do not use a hose or pressure washer to clean the machine. Make sure the parts are dry before assembling the machine. Attach the mold plate to the connecting arm. Place the transition plate on the machine. Align the guide pins into the proper holes. Be sure the transition plate is right side up. Place the hopper over the shaft onto the machine. Install the four hold down bolts in place, leaving the back corner bolt loose for the back guard. Place the chamber lid on the hopper. Tighten bolts using the tool provided. Do not over tighten or use any other tool to tighten the bolts. Place the feeder over the shaft by rotating it until it clears the meat stop and goes all the way onto the shaft. Line up the pin of the feeder washer with the keyway in the feeder and the shaft. Tighten the bolt with the tool provided. Do not over tighten or use any other tool. Slide the pressure plate in place and attach the spring collar over the pin. Install the back guard on the machine by sliding it under the two hold down bolts and connecting the key latch. Using the tool provided with the machine, do not over tighten or use any other tool to tighten the bolts. Install the feed tray. Be sure to place the tray plunger inside the safety sleeve. Plug the machine into its power supply. Turn the machine on. Stop the machine in the down position. Make sure there is no space between the arm and the cabinet. Remove the feed tray. Assemble the knockout cup assembly. The proper order is as follows. Start with the bolt, then the large washer, then the air valve. Then the knockout cup is shown. 
then the plastic washer. Finally, the spacer. Attach the knockout cup assembly to the machine. Be sure the washer and lock washer are directly under the wing nut as shown. Align the knockout cup in the center of the mold. Using the tool provided, tighten the wing nut. Make sure the knockout cup stays in the center of the mold. Install the feed tray. Install patty paper over the center pin. Up to 3 quarters of an inch of paper can be used at one time. This is around 200 sheets. Paper location can be adjusted if needed. See owner's manual for details. Plug the machine into its power supply. Your PR12 patty machine is ready for operation. Load the feed tray with up to 40 pounds of product. Proper operation requires the product to be pushed through or under the guard into the feed mechanism. Do not use a stomper or plunger to feed product. Turn on the machine. It may take a few cycles to properly fill your patty. Allow the patties to stack on the table or the receiving table provided with the machine. Do not catch the patties by hand. The operator can continue to feed product while the machine is running. This is only needed after producing 12 to 15 pounds of patties. Paper may be added while the machine is running. The pin in the pressure plate can be adjusted for individual product or appearance needs. See the owner's manual for further information. Daily maintenance requires these seven spots be lubricated using the lubrication provided with the machine. There are two grease fittings that the factory suggests to grease monthly. For further information, please contact your local authorized dealer or contact Patty Omatic Incorporated at 877 938 5244. Visit us on the web at www.pattyomatic.com.